Hello guys, I hope you all are fine. In the last chapter, we have discussed like how to set a sequence value as a default. Okay, so but today's class we'll learn about the identity columns. So it is basically similar like a auto increment in MySQL. Auto increment means like if you want to increase the value of a particular primary key column and uh, if we use the keyword auto increment in mysql what it does it automatically increases the value with one okay what it does it creates a sequence uh, internally so like in oracle what is happened we have three clauses like generated always as identity generated by default as identity and generated by default on null as identity okay Basically, if we set a uh, the, the identity column, then what it does, Oracle automatically generates. Basically, what it does, Oracle automatically creates a sequence internally and generates the value uh, sequentially for that column, which column will make as a identity. Okay, so we'll see that, and uh, this is the syntax like generated always. It might be generated always as identity. It might be generated uh, by default as identity and generated uh, by default on null as identity. So first we'll go to the generated always as identity. It means if we set a column as generated always as identity, then we are not allowed to insert any value into that column. What it does, Oracle automatically generates, automatically creates the sequence for it and automatically populate the value into it. So we are not allowed to insert a single value into that column. So that's why it is known as generated always as IDDT. So what it written, if we use this clause on a column, then Oracle automatically generate a sequence. We don't need to create a sequence explicitly and remember we cannot pass any value explicitly to that column even if null values okay we'll check so for that let me create a table student table you see in student table sid is a number student id is a number and i have set as a generated always as identity which means that oracle will automatically insert the value into sid i don't need to insert any value so if i create this table automatically a oracle creates a sequence and that sequence we can check from the user sequence we'll check that first let me create this table okay you see table created and if i go to user sequence you see sorry sequences so you see uh one sequence name is already there that means it created by the oracle and if you want to drop the sequence it will not allow you see drop sequence i'm trying to drop the sequence which has been created by the oracle you see it is not allowing me because it is a system generated cannot drop a system generated sequence so it will be automatically dropped if we drop this table okay but before that let me show you some uh, let me insert some record into this table and we will check what happening you see for this column i am trying to insert explicitly a not null value and if i try this you see it is not allowing me to do this it is saying cannot insert into a, a generated always identity column that is the error okay and if i try the null value also it will show me the same error that cannot insert the uh, insert into a generator always identity column so what will happen we don't have to include this column you see the next three record where i have not included this column and if i try to insert some record like let me insert one record you see one record automatically inserted and then let me do for the second and for the third also and if i query from the student detail table you see the three data automatically comes and i have not inserted any value so the sequence have generated one two and three you see that but one thing i wanted to tell you here very interesting if i only drop the table you see if i drop the table drop table student details you see 
I drop the table and if I go to the user sequence, still you see it is there. I told in previously like if I drop the table, then automatically the sequence will be dropped. But here it is not working. Why? Because the table is still in the recycle bin. Because if we see in the recycle bin, select star from recycle bin where original uh, name equal to student details then you will see there is a record okay so you see this record is already there in the recycle bin what you need to do you have to drop the table you have to remove this table from the recycle bin for that we have to write the command purge recycle bin okay if i do this and after that if i check from the user sequence you see there is no sequence exist no record is coming so it is very important you have to remember whenever you are dropping the table we have you have to use either a purge command after the table name or you need to purge the recycle bin there is two way okay i think this is the better way we have to drop the table with ports okay so that means it will not be kept inside the recycle bin so this is all about the generated always as identity and, and if i go to the generated by default as identity which means if we use this column on a column uh, if we use this clause in a column then oracle automatically generate the sequence we don't need to create it explici uh, explicitly but the problem is that we cannot pass we can only pass the not null values into the column. We cannot pass a null value explicitly. Okay. So let me show you. Uh, first, uh, drop me the table. The table already been dropped. And uh, let me create the same table where I have set as a generated by default as identity. And if I run this uh, uh, query, automatically a uh, table has been created. And if I show the user sequence, the sequence, sorry for that, sequences. Uh, sequences uh, one uh, sequences has been created and if I'll try to insert a null value it will show me an error because cannot insert into null okay we are not allowed to insert a null value into this column because we have set as a generated by default as identity which means if we not consider this column then automatically the sequence will be populated but here we are trying to explicitly inserting a null value. You see in the second record here, uh, you see there is two way here, two options. Like if we explicitly insert some record, then automatically whatever value will provide not null value that will be stored in the SID column. But if we will not consider the SID column, then the, then the sequence, then the generated by default identity which you have defined, the sequence value will be worked. Okay. And as I have shown that null value will be not going to work and if I will insert some not null value and uh, for the this record also and third record also and if I check you see first will be 101 because here we have explicitly inserted but the second and third record we have not inserted any uh, like we have not considered the SID column so the sequence have worked that's why it is 1 and 2 and let, next we will see the last one the default on null. The, the slight changes is there here we are allowed to insert the null values and if we insert the null values then what happen uh, then then what happen the sequence will work automatically you see uh, uh, I have already created the table and sequence automatically created and if I insert some value first it will be null then second 101 and third I have uh, inserted promo and if I check uh, you see the, the first one will be 1 because I have inserted null so, so in case of null the sequence worked then I have inserted a 101 as it is the explicit value so it is there and the last one I have not included the column that's why it automatically inserted 2 I hope you understood the identity column uses in the oracle and uh, if you have any doubt please comments below and thanks for watching my videos please subscribe my channel and don't forget to get the bell icon to hit the bell icon to get the latest update thanks to all of you